Hi everyone, uh, welcome you all to YouTube. Uh, today I am just going to explain you about the working of a uh, Vandy Graph Generator. Okay. This uh, Vandy Graph Generator was devised by um, Robert J. Vandy Graph in the year uh, 1929. So this anti-graph generator can produce a high positive potential of about 10 raised 7 volt. Okay. The working of anti-graph generator is uh, based on two principles. The first principle is the electrostatic induction. And the second principle is action of point. Okay. The Van de Graaff generator is based on these two principles. First, let me explain what is meant by an electrostatic induction. Uh, so, this is the process of acquiring charges without any actual contact with the charges. So, let us consider an uh, uncharged sphere like this. This sphere is uncharged. So, if I brought a charged conductor like this, this conductor is positively charged. So if I in, uh, brought this conductor near the sphere, mm -hmm. uh, an equal amount of negative charges are induced on this side and the positive charges are induced on the other side. So if I have this positive charge, then I will have the sphere only with the negative charge. So this is the process of electrostatic induction, the process of acquiring charges without any actual contact between the charges. So uh, let me explain what is meant by an action of points. Uh, it is a leakage of electric charges from the shore points of the conductor. So let us consider a conductor like this. Uh, this conductor is full of the positive charges. So when this is kept in air, uh, this charges uh, leak from this uh, short point. So this leakage of charges from the short points of the conductor is called as the action of points and this also called as a corona discharge. Okay. So now let me explain the working of Vandegraaff generator. So this is how the Vandegraaff generator will look like. Uh, in this Vandegraaff generator, uh, a sphere, a metallic sphere is mounted on an insulating pillar. So this is the insulating pillar. Okay, this metallic sphere. Uh, in the inside this metallic sphere, uh, a pulley uh, A is mounted, and another pulley B is mounted near the bottom. Uh, so the violet line here is the silk belt, which uh, moves over these two pulleys. So this. Uh, Pulley B is driven continuously by using an electric motor so that the belt moves over these pulleys. So there are two combs, C and the comb D. It's uh, placed uh, near the two pulleys. So this comb C is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and this battery can provide a positive uh, potential of about uh, 10 raised 4 volt. And this is search. So, uh, since this is connected to the positive potential, uh, this will ionize the air present uh, near this area and uh, this gives the positive charge. So uh, this attracts the, since it ionizes the air, it attracts the electron towards the comb and it repels the positive charges to the belt. So an equal amount of positive charge is induced on this belt. Since this is uh, driven by an electric motor, uh, this positive charges are uh, taken up. So these positive charges are taken up uh, near this side. Now uh, due to electrostatic induction, uh, the comb D acquires an uh, equal amount of negative charge and on the inner surface of the sphere it acquires a positive charge. So the acquired positive charge is spread over the outer surface of the sphere. Okay. Now uh, this comb will acquire a uh, uh, large amount of negative charge. So 
due to our ionization, uh, the due to action of points, the air will ionize and uh, it neutralizes the positive charge. And so this uh, dissenting belt, so this dissenting belt will be left uncharged. So like this, uh, the Van de Graaff generator can constantly provide uh, uh, the positive charges. And so there is a limiting value above which the uh, the positive charges cannot be placed over the sphere. Uh, so uh, to increase uh, this limiting value, this Van de Graaff generator can be placed in a gas-filled chamber and uh, uh, with a uh, high pressure. So this uh, by uh, by this Van de Graaff, we can produce uh, we can uh, we can accelerate uh, protons and neutrons. Okay, thank you for watching. Please leave your comment and please subscribe.